Welcome to my haul video that I am making so that I can clear out my closet. What does a woman do when she needs to clear her closet? Well, the answer to that is, the bimbo answer at least, is to buy more things. Ooh, this is not the material I was expecting. I was expecting more of like a jersey material, but it's kind of wooly and I don't know how confident I feel about that considering it's Forever 21. I'm kind of worried about it being a little scratchy, but we'll see. Okay, this shirt definitely runs small. I'm glad I didn't get an extra small with this one. Actually, it fits really nice. I actually really like this. Though I question how the material will feel after like, let's say 30 minutes, if it's gonna become itchy or something. It's hard to say, but right now it's okay. It's not the softest, but it's okay. I think I'm definitely gonna keep this. This will be really cute in the autumn with like a little pencil skirt or mini skirt type of deal or a pleated skirt would be cute too. So I put this skirt on to demonstrate kind of what I meant. I think that it would look really good with a pleated skirt or a fitted skirt would look cute too, but I picked this one because I really like the color. I haven't gotten a chance to wear this skirt yet. Uh, I think it's probably because it's a little bit too short, but it does have shorts on underneath, so it's fine, but for some reason I'm still kind of skeevy about it. It's kind of like when you wear a um, really long shirt and you have shorts on underneath, but people look at you like you don't, and they're like, are you naked under there? That's the kind of feeling I get wearing this skirt. So I haven't had the bravery to do it yet. Both of these are from Forever 21. Uh, I really like how the top fits and the shorts fit really nice. The only problem is when I turn around, it's kind of see-through. I don't know if it'll be fixed by wearing nude underwear, but it's a little bit too see-through even considering that. So they should probably thicken the fabric of that in my opinion. Forever 21 and a lot of fast fashion stores often have this problem where they make the shorts or leggings too transparent. And this is definitely a case of that. I really wish companies would stop doing that. It's like, what's the point? It's supposed to cover my ass. I'm looking at my mirror over here. I really like the top. I love the cuts in it. It's very trendy. I think what I would wear with this top is some cargo shorts to make it look more Tomb Raider-y. <laughs> Hold on, I have to make sure my fingers are up my ass at all times because, you know, the gun jannies are going to be in the comments. Even though it's a literal plastic gun, they're going to be like, you finger trigger discipline. They literally do it to seem smart, like that they know a lot about guns. Oh, trigger discipline? You mean like this? This is not a real gun, but people will still get mad over it. They'll still get mad. Watch. Fuck off, gun jannies. Uh-oh, uh-oh, she's gone mad. She has plastic pistols to her head with her fingers on the trigger. I better go cry in the comment section. <laughs> she's gone mad. This is such a funny screenshot. Oh my God, are you holding a fake plastic gun to your cat's face? Yes. She likes it too. Look, she's cuddling with it. All right, moving on. This cardigan's so cute. Okay, this is, left the clip in my hair. This outfit is really cute. This is an ideal outfit. This is what I would call like a perfect outfit to me. Cause I love the color scheme. It's all very muted and cute. Hold on, let me put my hair up. I'm using one of these like curly hair ties where it's kind of like a coil. All right, it's holding up. That's not that cute. It's just a cute little fall outfit. I definitely look like I watched Sailor Moon in this outfit. I'm gonna be late. Wait, how does the post go? I will punish you with calories. A debate old as time. Which looks better, tucked in or leave it out? 
For me, I think I'm definitely a tuck in kind of girl. There's definitely some situations where I think that untucking it looks better and I'm going to explain that exact scenario. So for example, maybe you have a short torso, which I don't. Or number two, if you have on a skirt like this, <laughs> fuck. If you have a skirt like this, um, and it were higher waisted and tighter around the waist and literally like sucking your waist in, then it might be beneficial for you to untuck it. It would make your waist look really small, like that. I don't know how that looks on camera, but I'm trying to give you guys the idea. But in this case, let me see. It does actually do that in this case. Like my waist does look smaller with it untucked, but I want to see how it looks with it tucked in. I think either way looks good. Let me know in the comments which one you guys prefer. I'm gonna try buttoning this up and see how it looks. That's actually pretty cute. I'm actually pretty impressed with Forever 21. Usually button up shirts do not fit me well. It's usually pulling really bad at the chest, but actually it's staying put. I'm impressed. Good job Forever 21. This makes up for the biker shorts. Okay, I lied. The button just popped open. So wear a camisole underneath if you're rusty. The gap is really not that bad though. It's really good if the button would just stay. See, I was the unpopular kid in high school and now I dress like the popular kid. Right, Petals? She loves it. I would bring you to class, Petals. And I would bring you to show and tell. And then I would be the popular girl for having the pretty kitty. Let's get her to flop. Do the flop. <gasps> Hello, petals. Look at her. Look at my pretty petals, princess. All right, whipping the jacket out. It's a cute little cropped jacket. Ooh, that's cute. I really love the color of this jacket. Does it make me look fat though? Boxy things tend to make me look fat, so I really like the color of this jacket. It's really cute. I like that it's cropped as well, but you know, it feels like a hit or miss with cropped things because if it's too boxy, sometimes it can make you look fatter. I'll have to take a look at the footage afterwards. I don't know if it's making me look fat from the mirror over here. It looks good, but I don't know, from far away, maybe it like covers my waist and makes me look fatter. I really like the color of it. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try putting on a more fitted skirt and see if that helps the silhouette. Or maybe some jeans. Yeah, honestly, that looks a lot better. I like this a lot better with a more fitted bottom, I think. I think I look less fat. Like, I think I look less fat with the fitted bottoms instead of the petaled? What's the word? Pleated skirt. See, on top doesn't look right when the jacket is cropped. It looks weird. I do wish that my jeans were more of a light wash instead of a medium wash, but they didn't have it at Levi's, so I kind of had to take what I could get. These are my only pair of blue skinny jeans that look good. I have a pair of mom jeans that I really like that are comfy, but they're not as attractive. See, I really like this wash of jeans. I wish my other pair was in this color. You see how this pair is a lot lighter and more washed out? I think it just goes better with more things in my closet. See, I don't really know why companies insist on producing medium wash jeans when this is clearly better. I don't know, it just looks a lot better. But you can see what I mean, that this pair of jeans is definitely more of a mom jean. It's more relaxed, and I still think it's cute, but you'll find that a lot of guys will be like, oh, those are frumpy. But to women, we're like, oh, those are cute and comfy. And they kind of balance the outfit and don't make it look like you're a prostitute. I mean, unless you want to look like that. That seems to be the trend nowadays. I do think I like this crop jacket, just with something more fitted. So I got a second jacket in a similar color. Okay, honestly, why didn't you guys tell me my glasses weren't even? They were clearly uneven. Honestly though, I think I like this jacket more. 
Like if I had to choose one, I think I would pick this one. Something about the lines look better on me because it's more slouchy, I think, and less boxy. Like even with the mom jean, I think it looks pretty good. I like wearing jackets when it has the one off the shoulder thing. It's just something that happens naturally when I wear jackets, so I just let it be. So I accidentally bought two of these. So that's awkward. Ooh. Normally I can't wear tops like these, but with the camisole, it's actually working. I think that's really cute. I think that this is really cute. I really like this one. I wasn't expecting to like this top. I thought it was gonna fit really badly, but actually it's really cute. And uh, the skirt is from Papaya, but they don't have it anymore because I got it some months ago. Oh my geechiness, I am so popular. I really love skirts. I love how practical they are and they feel much more comfortable than a normal skirt. I feel very self-conscious in normal skirts because I'm like, I have to wear shorts on underneath, it's bulky, and this is just, you know, one layer, it's not bulky, and it still has the same kind of preppy look. It's cute. I'm very happy that Squirts made a comeback. Oh yeah, this one came as a two-piece, but I'm definitely not going to use this portion because this just doesn't really work that well with naturally big boobs, like maybe if you have implants, but... Mm. Not a fan of spaghetti strap plus straight neck. Doesn't really work with my bras, so. Chucking that. Is this inside out? I always put things on inside out. I don't know why, even my underwear. That's cute. So the reason I bought this was actually to wear it like this because I don't like wearing just spaghetti strap. It feels weird to me. Even just wearing tank tops and having nothing over my shoulders, it feels weird. Like I don't feel self-conscious about my arms. I don't think that they look bad or anything. Maybe I just don't like it because the sun is hitting my shoulders. And that means I have to put on more sunscreen when I go out. Cause I put on sunscreen every single time I go out and you should too. If the sun is able to change your skin color, that means your skin's being damaged. And if the sun is able to give your plants life, that means that the rays are going through your window and it is damaging your skin. So be careful about sunlight exposure. It's wild to think that most of the aging process in terms of wrinkles is preventable if you just put on sunscreen. So I put it on every single day, even if I don't go outside and if I'm near a window, especially. Yeah, I really like this actually. I'm definitely gonna wear it open. I'm gonna try buttoning it up too, see if it looks good. I'm not gonna be too disappointed if I button this up and it doesn't look good because I definitely intended to buy it for this type of look where it's just covering my shoulders and covering tank tops or spaghetti strap things that make me feel weird just wearing it by itself. I think that's still really cute. I like it better open, but this is definitely more modest. I think I'm gonna keep one button down just to make it a little lower neck for my collarbones to show. You know, I have to say I'm really impressed with the haul so far. Okay, so for some reason my dumb phone stopped recording so you guys missed a couple of outfits. I will change back into them, but I want to show you guys this hoodie. I really love doing analogous colors, like blue into green, and it kind of all blends together. It's very low contrast, which is good for me because my coloration is very naturally muted. So something like this is really good for me versus for other people, if you're more high contrast, like you have very black hair and white skin type of thing you'll look better in something like you wear black and white. It looks really good. But for me, this is more natural looking. It doesn't look separate from me. I think this hoodie is pretty good. The length of it's good. It's a cute little cropped hoodie. It's very comfy. Could wear it as loungewear. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys what you missed. This outfit is so good. It's so good. The colors, my favorite color combination. But yeah, I love wearing it off the shoulder like this. I think it's because, stay. I think it's because it reminds me of a sailor and my inner weeaboo is coming out. I'm like, I'm literally a sailor school girl from the 90s. So yeah, I really love that. I'm gonna be so mad if I go behind the camera and it doesn't look as good as it looks in real life. 
but yeah, off the shoulder is definitely the way to go. I think it's my way of compensating because I can't wear strapless bras, so I never get to wear things off the shoulder. So I think this is my way of doing that, is kind of like casually doing it instead of a full commitment of shoulders and make my back hurt with the strapless bra. Seriously, it's like, I hate wire bras. I don't wear wire bras. It literally hurts the middle of my chest. There's a bone there but it like presses against your rib cage. Ugh, you couldn't pay me to do it. You really couldn't. I mean, yeah, you could if it were a lot of money, but still, you get what I mean. Do you know how many times this camera has betrayed me? How many times my phone has betrayed me mid recording and I have to redo things? I should give you guys a peer away. Listen, I'm an ice skater, not a ballet dancer, okay? It's ballet on ice, it's different. Okay. I actually did take a few ballet classes and my friend told me to take them because it would help me ice skate. And they teach you this move where it's like a swan, you're tippy toeing. Collar so floppy, it flops. See, it would be nice if it had a little more integrity over here so that it could kind of like stick up with the jacket and look cool. But you know, it's Forever 21. That's a little too tall of an order. By the way, in case you guys are wondering why do I suddenly look fatter, it's because I have two camisoles on so it looks a little bulky. I was lazy and didn't take the other one off. You ever notice in the catalogs like Free People, for example, they always layer like 10 camisoles on top of each other, acting like that's how people really wear it, as if that were comfortable and not bulky as shit. See, the colors work, but something about the skirt going out slightly, I feel like that throws it off. I mean, like, if I pose in a certain way, it can look cute, like. And that's why clothing always looks good on left sides, because you could just pose it away, like. Oh, I hate when they're deceptive with the posing in clothes. Like, they'll take a boxy jacket that's totally unflattering, and they'll be like this. Like, of course it looks good. It's going off your shoulder. See, it just automatically looks better when it's off one shoulder. I'm gonna change the bottoms. Ugh, the zipper's janky. I never wear my jacket zipped up because it's just gonna make me look fat, but I just wanted to demonstrate to you guys. Maybe you disagree. What sucks is if it gets really cold, like, what are you gonna do, keep your jacket open? It's not practical. So that's kind of the conundrum with women's fashion. It's like the hot to comfortable ratio and you have to find the sweet spot. You know what else I hate? When you walk in the store and the mannequins will have clothes on, let's say it's this outfit, and they're like this. Like the jacket will be pinned to their shoulders to keep it like that. Like as if you are, you're actually gonna walk around with your jacket staying just like this, pinned to your shoulders. You're gonna have to walk around like a robot to actually keep it open like that. Yes, this is how humans actually wear clothing. Honestly though, if it stayed just like this, it would actually be really cute. I'm gonna pretend it's gonna stay like that the entire day. It's the same concept as not checking the mirror throughout the day. It's like you just wanna keep pretending your makeup still looks good because the moment you see it, your whole day is gonna be ruined. Or is that just me? Let's put on the final thing. Where is it? It looks like I'm gonna fight in this jacket. Very Tomb Raider-esque. I bet it will look good with the cargo shorts or maybe cargo pants. Yeah, cargo pants. Does this have like the little stringy adjustable thingies? Oh no, it doesn't. That sucks. This would be cuter if it had those two strings at the bottom that make it smaller so that it cinches your waist. You know, if I were assembling an outfit, I wouldn't throw this on top as a first choice, but now that I'm actually wearing it, actually, it does look pretty good. I don't dislike it. I think I would actually wear it like this. See, that's why these videos are good, because then I actually put things on that I wouldn't normally assemble, and then I discover new ways to wear things. You guys should try it too. Wait, this actually might be cute buttoned up. Hold on. This is not a drill. Wait. I think it works. 
Oh my God, do I actually have a jacket I can button up that doesn't look frumpy? Could this be true? Is it real? <gasps> One more unbuttoned looks really good. You can see the layering. I love it. Ladies and gentlemen, I have found a jacket I can wear at least partially buttoned. We have solved the comfortable to hot ratio. Okay, I'm actually super excited because I wasn't gonna buy this jacket, but I was like, it's so cheap. It's like 10 bucks, I'm gonna try it. I'm really happy I tried it. There's a black version of this too, which would be super cute, but black's a really harsh color, so I try to stay away from it if possible, unless it's like insanely cute and then I'll try to make it work, but. I tend not to, so I got the green. But this works for my color palette. As you guys can see, everything kind of matches each other. This whole haul was kind of like a mini capsule wardrobe. Okay, overall, I am super impressed with this haul. I absolutely adore every item that I got. The only one that I thought was iffy was the navy blue shorts. The fit was amazing. It was perfectly high-waisted, but they need to make it a little more opaque. But other than that, everything was amazing. I am super impressed. They're doing a lot better with their fashion at Forever 21. It's less gimmicky, more basics, more neutrals. I absolutely love it. And I hope that they make more things in that particular shade of blue I like. I'm just super impressed. I'm so happy. I'm excited to wear a lot of these things this summer and also in the fall too. I feel like a lot of this will work, especially in Texas. We get all the seasons. It's just later. It's just two months delayed. That's the only difference, honestly, coming from New York to here. It got pretty much just as cold, had to wear a parka. Uh, there was autumn leaves that were beautiful and falling. It was just two months later. I don't know if that's normal here, because I heard the weather's been a little bit different in the past two years in Texas, but I love it. Very excited for this. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the haul and you could use some of the tips or maybe use the color combinations as inspiration or the silhouettes. Hopefully you found something you like or got some use out of this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoy the content, consider supporting me on Patreon where we have a community discord. I post behind the scenes stuff and I post the videos for you guys to watch on there earlier than they're released on YouTube. So if I just like begged you guys, like, please subscribe to my Patreon. I'm a poor e-girl and I just really, really need your support. I literally don't know how I'm going to buy my Starbucks if you guys don't support me on Patreon. So please just click the Patreon button and become a subby wubby. It's only $1 a month. <sighs> Please. Ugh, probably like cat hair on me. Anyway, bye. Get out my house.